Welcome to Dan Gem. We're taking the more risky aspects of crypto and digital assets and trying to find the next 10 to 100x gem. So today, what we're talking about is probably the most degen thing that you can possibly talk about in crypto, and that is runes. So there's a big difference between ordinals and runes. Ordinals are essentially NFTs that you can mint on the Bitcoin blockchain. And runes are tokens that you can mint on the Bitcoin blockchain. So one, ordinals are NFTs and runes are essentially tokens or meme tokens and why these are actually becoming so big and part of the one of the problems with the congestion of the bitcoin network is that there's so much demand for them so this was a little post and you know we talk about how big they are well dog to the moon essentially one of the rune tokens that are out there just did a 600 million market cap surge in just one day. To put that in perspective, if you could take 600 million, and I think it's gonna to go to 1 billion, if we take a look at all the different cryptos that are out there, as far as coin market cap, that would put them, if they hit a billion dollars, right around the, between 96 and 97. Now, if we take a look at them being at 600 million, of course, we can go down a little bit further, but they're in roughly the top 200 and just a mean coin. So the question you might have is, well, how do we do that? How do we buy into that? And that's what I want to make this video because I got a lot of questions about it. First of all, there is a link in the description for Xverse, and this is going to be the wallet that I use. There are many different wallets that you can use for runes and ordinals. Just This is just the one that I actually use. So links in the description. When you go to this website, you can click on download. And depending on where you're at, if you're on your, your desktop, you can download for Chrome. If you're on your uh, mobile devices, it's either on the App Store or Google Play. Now, once you have that and you'd like to buy these different runes, because you can't find these on CoinGecko. They're not listed anywhere as far as following. What you need to do is you need to go to a website called Unisat. And when you go to Unisat, it's going to look like this and it has your wallet here. Now you can use the Unisat wallet. I personally don't use it I like the functionality uh, for Xverse, but again, whichever one you want to do, same thing over here. When you go here on the very top right hand corner, it's going to say marketplace, ordinals, atomicals, runes. If you go to runes, now you're going to see all the different tokens that are on the Bitcoin blockchain. And the very first one is dog go to the moon. Now, does this project have utility? Does this project going to change the world? Is this project the next big future of finance? Absolutely not. This is 100% gambling. And you have to understand that this is gambling, but that's why I created this entire new channel to talk about the degeneracy that we all have. Now, look, I'm not telling you to put everything onto it. I can't give a financial advice. I'm not your dad. You do what you want to do. But for me, there's a reason why Las Vegas exists. It exists because you can go there and have a little bit of fun. So take that as you may. So if we're going to actually buy this or take a look at it, and there's a ton of different ones that are out here. And of course, the question you might have is, well, how can I tell which one's a good one and which one's a bad one? We'll get to that at the very last piece. But if I wanted to buy Dog Go to the Moon, I'm going to click on Dog Go to the Moon, and you'll see right here that it has all the different amounts that you can buy. Now, what you may notice is that you can't just buy one dog to the moon or 100 million dog to the moon. It's actually what people actually put up on the marketplace. And this, of course, if you see these numbers, right, like for this one, 889,806, that's essentially what I have. And that's what most people have that you'll notice. And why do they have that? It's because they were one of the first to purchase ordinals, again, NFTs on the Bitcoin blockchain. And they were probably, just like myself, they were airdropped a rune stone. And a rune stone are ordinals on the Bitcoin blockchain. They look like this. And of course, uh, purchasing these or even these airdropped, you never know if you're going to get more airdrops or not. Essentially, it's just gambling. But for that, uh, I was given 889,000, like a lot of different people are. And that airdrop is worth today $4,206. So uh, not a bad just to kind of kick around for an NFT. So again, if you'd like to buy these, of course, you can take a look for that, or you can kind of go this way and just kind of match up what you think would be the best thing for you. So for like, like this one, it's only, well, it's not only, it's 0 0.01 Bitcoin. Again, if that's what you want to do, this of course is gambling. And you just kind of break it down and see which one is the best one uh, for you and your situation. So that takes care of that. And also you can also inscribe or you can uh, mint these runes yourself. And that again is at unisat.io. Just kind of click around, you'll figure that out. But that's not what most of you people are here for. You're just here to say, well, what can I gamble on? And that's it. Now, 
talking about those things, here's who you'd want to follow who have more information than me as to what may be something to look at, an upcoming project, and something that uh, might actually interest you. So the first one will be Ma Max, and she's done a lot of great uh, little snippets of information. Follow her on X. We got Naf, who's a friend here in uh, Puerto Rico, as well as uh, Alan, and as well as uh, buddy Steven, and they are essentially the cabal of the <laughs> Solana meme coins as well. And then lastly, if you're looking forward to say, well, where can I follow uh, Dog Go to the Moon or all these different runes that they have all separate projects like what they are in, in X or on YouTube or on Discord? Nope, you just got to follow this guy, Leonidas. He's the one essentially that created runes and orbitals or ordinals, and uh, he can show you what might be the next big thing. But again, it all comes down to narrative and gambling and have fun with that. And that's it for today. So look, if you like today's video, Give it a thumbs up, consider subscribing. Everything we talk about here is extremely risky. So you're either gonna lose everything or you might be able to make a profit. That's it for today. So thanks so much for stopping by. I do appreciate you and I'll see you on the next one.